Spring has arrived at the lockup of disaster! Auntie Sophie. Yes, this is another episode about Auntie Sophie. Because yesterday I advertised this as parts. And guess what's happened? No, you're wrong. In actual fact, what's actually happened is that lots of people want lots of bits off of this car, which um, I was kind of hoping would be the case. About five people have asked for the wings. One person's asked for the scuttle, but that's not really happened. Somebody's asked for this uh, bonnet blanket thing. There is a chap in Scotland who wants the sunroof tray, a door card, a switch, a boot actuator, and now somebody else wants the heater resistor and I thought it would be all about the engine which uh, nobody's asked about just yet god blimey I tell you what um, I'm gonna have a busy day with this now for months now I've barely sold a thing and I've just kind of realized that probably the issue is I was trying to advertise the things that people don't really want um, such as wings. Now, if you need a wing on your car, just like if you need a door or a tailgate or a bonnet or a bumper, then that's the only thing that will do. But they're rarely, very rarely needed. Whereas Rover are indeed enjoyed by enthusiasts and they want them to be just right. There's only really me that don't really care about those kind of things too much. I'll happily drive around with no headlining, but other people aren't like that. Rover, the experience of driving one, that's what does it for me. Not how tidy they are, none of that kind of stuff. I'm not everyone, am I? And uh, because I don't think like other people, I do struggle to get in their minds. And they probably struggle to get in mine as well. It bothers me a lot just doing this to the car, but that is what people want. They don't want the car. They want the bits off of the car. It seems that there are still too many Rover 800s about for them to be collectible to the extent where they become a viable project. Here we have the, um, the, the bonnet muffler uh, thingy soundproofing thing. Doesn't actually get rid of sound, does it? but it reduces it. This is probably going to Scotland, although I haven't agreed a price on it. So it's probably going to Scotland. What's about to ruin this car more than anything is taking this headlining out and removing the sunroof tray because that is what is required. But of course it has to be rust free. Then again, I think with the rest of the car, it's got a fairly good chance headlining must come out so that sun visors trim uh, all the pillar trim interior lights and then a couple of clips etc to stop it from falling back out again oh you can't see it can you oh, never mind Headlining, headlining biscuit. That in itself may be of value to somebody somewhere, but I'm not prepared to just keep it indefinitely. The continuing adventures of stripping Sophie's bits. Door cards. <laughs> Looks like Sophie's had an eye operation. So, Auntie Sophie, here we go. Now, looking just a little bit sorry for yourself, aren't you? No, it's your own fault. You have plenty of opportunity to work, and this is just the start of it, I'm afraid. Yep. Soon, soon, there'll be more bits coming off. There's a chap who wants your rear lamps. Yeah, they're going. Battery back on. Batteries needed to be back on. Battery is back on. Battery is probably going to be 
setting the doors off? No, no, not yet. Okay, fair enough. I thought I heard a clunking sound. Battery's back on for just one reason. That and that. Before this gets sold, it's vital its last job is complete. Now then. Now I've got to drive to take these parcels because I've just walked up to the post up to the post office in Milne Road where it's supposed to be open after two o'clock. So I've been hanging around for it to be open and it was closed, wasn't it? How delightful, how convenient. Stop owning, just go somewhere else. I am going somewhere else, but I've had a wasted walk and two parcels from that car. Not very heavy, but they get heavy after a while. Watch it be open now. No, it's not. No, they're not even going to open it at all today. Now, I'm quite a tolerant person, but that is out of order. The post office is supposed to be something that you can rely upon in a small community. You not have to go to a different town or village. Well, New A post office is rather helpful. One of the things I don't like about parts is packaging and sending off parts. They're not too bad though, actually, when you can just wrap them in a bin liner like that, a nice big thick bin liner, and that's the best kind of protection you can give them because they're just sort of soft stuff in the first place, then that's great. Hey, I approve. I think I've spotted something that makes my car look sensible. Lock actuator's got to come out. To be honest, I'm quite enjoying myself with this now. That. Whilst I was sorting the boot out, the windows decided to close itself. So at that point, may as well have a dry car. Will the water go in the bucket quicker than it comes out? For the moment, that is healthy. The rest of you is safe. <sighs> Not for long, though. This is the first time since doing this channel and going to car shows, etc. Although tomorrow is simply a meetup. This is the first time I've gone about sizing the this is the first time I haven't done any kind of video where I show the progress of the cleaning of the car. But I can tell you, it was rather dirty in it because I've not cleaned it in ages. But I thought, on this occasion, you don't need to see it. So I haven't shown it. And now, this is the end of this particular video about anti selfie Let's move on to the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a channel member. See you soon.